Hi, my name is Tom Ochi. I'm the owner operator of Ringo and Orchards in Vernon, BC, and we're standing in a block of ambrosia apples. Ringo and Orchards is a family operated farm and we've uh, been growing here about uh, 60, 70 years. We are now operating partly as a UPIC operation, growing uh, apples and vegetables and the beautiful ambrosia apples you see here today. Uh, my grandfather immigrated here from uh, Japan in the uh, sort of the mid-1920s. Initially he was down in the coast uh, working at a pulp mill and um, had an accident there which he uh, uh, lost part of his right arm, so the compensation he received from that, uh, he was able to pool together some money with other families of Japanese origin and move to the Okanagan Valley. And they bought the orchards that you see around in this area today, along Bella Vista and throughout Vernon and Coldstream. I think it was quite important for the Japanese community here uh, during World War II that they were quite a close-knit community because there were a lot of issues that they had to deal with. It was difficult for the Japanese all through Canada at that time, especially on the coast because anybody within 100 miles of uh, the coastline was relocated to uh, the internment camps. Uh, my father and his family and my grandfather here were more than 100 miles off uh, shore so they did not have to relocate. Uh, my mother, on the other hand, did have to relocate and they lost pretty much everything they had there. Uh, so a lot of them moved into the Okanagan, to the camps, and then were dispersed into different areas in order to work at uh, friends and families. When I left the farm to go to university, uh, I would, had no idea I was going to come back. I was strictly thinking of uh, going to school, uh, getting a job in Vancouver, I went to UBC, and then uh, I traveled quite a bit uh, to Japan, lived in Japan for a few years, and uh, unfortunately my father was ill at that time, and my wife and I decided that we would come back and run the family farm, and uh, that's what I did, and I'm glad I did because it, uh, it really brought back some good fond memories, and I, I really enjoy being here with my, my whole family. Delicious. I planted ambrosia not, I wasn't one of the earliest growers, but I was jumped on the ambrosia bandwagon and I'm sure glad I did because it's a fantastic apple. Initially at the beginning I probably only started with an acre and I quickly, uh, in the next couple of years, once I saw the crop that was on there, I, I jumped into another couple acres very quickly. We do have farm date at Ringo and Orchards and it's a very popular you pick and uh, we pick as well. The ambrosia apple is one of the most popular apples that I have here, if not the most popular, and people rave about it. They love the color, obviously. They love the texture and the taste of the ambrosia apple. Uh, families come here, they enjoy the outdoors and the nature, and the children get a very good education as to where the fruit and the vegetables come from. I feel uh, great pride in letting people pick their own ambrosia apples here. It's uh, how I always was raised. It's a wonderful lifestyle to come back to and to be a part of. And I just hope that one day that my kids might want to follow me in my footsteps, but uh, we'll see in the future.